do you feel about being here? Yeah. Why? Because there's no fucking animals around me. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in Pablo's house. Oh, this is the pool. Oh my god, is that? Oh no, they're little plunge pools. So we were told that there's a little secret pool down here. How do you get into it? Oh. How do you get into the stairs? Oh, oh here, look here. Oh, it's right down. How are you walking? We're back here. We're back, baby. We're back here again in Casamalca. Um, we just loved it last time and we thought we'd come down today and go straight for our meal because our meal's at half five. So I got some sushi again, mm. some mushroom, edamame beans. I'm actually getting pineapple with chamoy and tahini. So you put them on yourself. They're literally the nicest things ever. I'm going to pour them on my own show, yes, but this is like a sour kind of stuff. And then tahini is what I use on my eggs every day at home, but it's like, I can't describe what it is, but it's just so nice and fruit, especially pineapple, so I'm gonna pop them on now. Look how nice the little tunnel thing is in Casamalca. It's be nice when it lights up. Yeah. We came back here twice. It's the only place we've been twice, isn't it? Yeah. So it must be good. Is it? Yeah, so. We and Anna weren't well today at all. But now we're on to the gym. It's bikini, some bright little thing. I just done a little PLT story haul on my stories there. So now we're up and ready. Go. We're just at our private dinner in the Wild Orchids. It's like a hotel with like 12 rooms. Um, we booked this and it actually wasn't even that expensive either. I'll link the page that I booked from um, if you want to book it yourselves. But I'm going to show you it now. It's so cute. Now there is a bit of building going on in the background so hopefully they stop soon. But um, I'll show you it now. It's so nice. Look. You could fit loads of people, couldn't you? There's Deno. And the sunset. I wish it was a bit more of a brighter day, but or um, less of a cloudy day. But it's still fab, and there's one here as well. We got our first and second course at Fish Ceviche, I think, and fried cheese. We got this uh, speaker. I'm it's feeling a, a rap song, actually. Don't judge the playlist, I just downloaded a random one. Yeah, one time. Song, isn't it? Yeah. For this sort of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have octopus. Done was first time. Can you eat this, yeah? Yeah, of course. Can I give you a bit of it? Yeah, but be careful because sometimes the sucker things get stuck in your throat. What sucker thing? The suction things on them, see? I just make sure you chew it properly Shoot before up, you do Yeah, just chew it properly, you'll be alright. So if I don't chew it properly, I'm gonna choke. So we have some grilled chicken. Grilled chips. Underneath? <laughs> oh my god. So fancy. Can I just eat just the prawns with all the shell on? I have to spit it out. <laughs> Look at that, like, might not even choke. I have to dig into that. Really? This is our fate. I'm yours. Oh, no. I'm not allowed in it. <laughs> so we're at Sonote Zoe Town. I think it's how you say it. I really wanted to go to this one because it's so nice. Like, right here, it's unreal. But um, it is not open at 8. And we got here at 7.40, so. Eek. But the, to the clocks go back the way we drove, or wherever we drove to. It's a different time, which is so weird because it's only an hour drive, an hour and ten minutes maybe. We just got a taxi, but um, he's waiting for us now while we go in and stuff. But but um, last night there was a cockroach in the room and a lizard, and Dano had a mare. Like he literally was freaking out, and we had to get a new room. All our stuff is still in the old room, so to go in there this morning, there was nothing eating in there. But um, so funny. He woke me up three times in my sleep to tell me about a new bug that he discovered. Oh, sorry. It was funny looking back by the time I wanted to kill him because I was so tired. But um, yeah, we got a new room, so there's no bugs as of yet. How do you feel about the bugs? I feel all right now. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Did you sleep okay? Wetting in the bleeding room. Because <laughs> he, he was afraid to put the fan on because the last fan is what we think gave the bugs. Slizzers in the fan, there was. What's them tits down for <laughs> Yeah. 
so we are just ready to go out for dinner we're going to parole it's like a italian and mexican i think but i'm going to go for a pasta like a big fat cheesy pasta um i don't know if i told you about the room with that i did tell you um we're in a new room can't really tell it's the same room but just like the opposite way around but i'm going to show you my outfit now this is dana's outfit given the deets deets short seen or short and for the shows yeah from where that's the whole point well boo hoo reese <laughs> and farfetch maybe off white then oh are they, this is how my ba sauce actually oh is it You're very good good vlogger thank you my outfit then is all tiger mist part and shoe with their asos it's literally so comfy and um, it's proper stretchy so a lot of room for pasta i just have no makeup on because i come here it's too hot and my foundation's like too pale for me so it looks stupid so this is the vibe we're going for side part which i never do if it looks weird but anyway we're gonna go <laughs> This is the bedroom, gorgeous. It's me looking quite like what am I wearing? Um, and then the bathroom, which is fab as well. Rainfall shower. And it looks like it's outdoors, but it's not actually. It's a glass up there, but how nice is that? And we're on the way now to explore, which is like an outdoor water park kind of thing, but it's like caves and zip lines. And I'm so excited. We have to wear a t shirt, so I have it on under my dress. And you went to wear shorts, but I don't have any shorts apart from jeans and or denim shorts and that would have been disastrous so I don't know what to do. But uh, one of the girls texted me she recommended to get like these water shoes, so we're gonna get them as well so if you're going to get them because they're recommended. And um, I'll try to show you some in there but I don't know if my phone obviously around but I'll try to show you some as well. Like a zip line hanging up there, they just seen someone go oh, someone's coming. Have you done <laughs> <laughs> So I got a case for my phone so we can video. Oh my god, we have to wear masks. Oh. This is what we're about to get on. <laughs> I have the wedgie of the century, like the shorts are so small. I got a medium and they're literally best. Things are like pop pants. <laughs> <laughs> hotel and we're currently packing up to leave because it's so creepy like there's no one around we ended up to have dinner at the pool there was not even a piece of cutlery on the table not one staff member came out to us we're sitting there for like five minutes don't came out like there's no one around there's lizards Dana obviously doesn't like lizards fuck that sorry we're out we're here 
We are leaving. <laughs> We're in a taxi to the new hotel. Um, it's not Stratford Road. Um, we basically were traumatised. We've seen. We went out and there was like no one in the hotel. I think I said that already. Yeah, just no one in the hotel, no one sitting there, no one serving us. No, like nothing on the tables. It was just really bare. Like just us. I was freaked. Dana was already freaked from the lizards that we seen earlier. That he's seen. And then we packed up all our stuff for like right up to the hotel. That's close to the airport, so it's actually gonna make sense for us anyway. We're in the taxi now, and on the way to the taxi, did we see a fucking tarantula? I'll insert the videos here. Okay, there it is. Oh my god, oh my god. Just run. Just be on. I have two bags, sir. Well, just take one of them, I'll take the other one. Oh! oh it's coming towards us. Oh my god, oh my god, it's going to attack us. It's actually. Oh my god, I'm going to stop, Tano. Tano, it's coming to get me. Just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave. Oh my god. Oh my fucking. <laughs> to say me and Dana were dripping with sweat. Not even like my armpits to my back, Dana's back. Probably Dana's armpits didn't feel them. <laughs> dripping with sweat. Oh my god, it was huge. And it was like it went up on its legs like that. Like as if it was gonna attack us. Oh my god, we had to leave. We just ran, we just ran for our lives. I felt I really never felt so traumatized before, so scared. Anyway, we're okay now. Thank the Lord. I feel like it made so dramatic because it's only spider, but it was huge and the camera does not pick up how big it was. I would love to see it reminds me. Dana was so we're we're out of the bad hotel. We're in a new one. Thank God. We're going to make gin and tonic and what is that then? What? What's your drink? Why is it? That's not great. This is our hotel for tonight. It's just that you sleep in because we're from the airport at like 7. Um, two sinks, my little dress I'm wearing again to the airport. Because it's literally so big, it doesn't fold up at all. Um, so I think then we have to shower, toilet. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, we're delighted. And look for Leon's. We'll get this in jungle booty. We're in the airport in Cancun. We got Panda Express. I got this before when I lived in Boston for my J1. And I got the honey chicken, um, honey, sorry, honey sesame chicken, orange chicken, and noodles. It's so nice. Literally, my two favourite things in the world sushi and tequila. No, I didn't know about it. Just on our flight now to Miami, it's so quiet. We're flying with an airline called Frontier Airlines. They fly like all over um, all over America and all over Mexico. Um, all over like 100 cities in America, them though, but they seem to be okay and the flight is really quiet, which is nice. Um, I think the, the tickets are only 300 euro for the boat of us, where cases, which wasn't that bad at all. The flight's only hour and 20, so if you're coming to Mexico, definitely think about going to Miami as well for a part of it or something because it is so close and like to come all the way back go home go back to Miami another time like you might get to do it so it's nice to get sorry I feel like I'm breathing this mask in it's nice to get two things done at the same time like in Orlando as well and um, we're going to on the 16th so yeah ladies and gentlemen the Kevin lights will be waiting to see how empty the plane is
So we are here. There's some man screaming. Well, we're in the Lennox Hotel. It's gorgeous. Look at the pool. Lights up like all different colors. And we're after getting a little drink. I just got a new glass. That's why there's a mess, by the way. But I got a mango margarita and then I've got a mojito. How do you feel about being here? Yeah. Why? Because there's no fucking animals around me. <laughs> <laughs> ready to go nearly. Outfit is Tiger Mist. We're going to the SDK. I hope you don't flash anyone today. So then I'll be on flash patrol to make sure I don't. <laughs> Good morning. So we're out and about. We're going to the mall. Dana needs to get some clothes and I want to have a look as well. We went to SCK last night. Food was lovely, fucking shit otherwise. No entertainment, seats weren't cut, like it was just real. I felt like it was in McDonald's, but with nice food. Yeah, true. Wasn't it? Not McDonald's, but like it just wasn't, the table was like dirty, you know, it was just like a scruffy version of SCK. I sound like I'm being a snob, but like if you've been to SCK, it's so nice, like so, such and a good experience. Well. Yeah, and they charge on a twice too. What's such a good experience usually and it just wasn't that. Where are we going? Any part of it? Uh, left. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, we're just walking around now, show you the area. Please. So we're just in the gym in the hotel. So this is the gym. We have it called Pug Belly Sushi and it's just amazing. So we are in Nikki Beach having Sunday brunch and um, they have like so much to choose from. We're just in Nikki Beach here for the Sunday brunch and um, they have like stations for literally every food and everything got. I'll show you my combination now with sofa corners but. So I got, I actually haven't gone to the like self-serve stations yet. We can make our own omelets and stuff and crepes but so far I got some chicken, pineapple, strawberries, french toast, sushi and bacon. Our salad is actually really good. Those little quotes and stuff. Um, treadmills, I think so. So we're just in the design district of Miami. So it has all the design shops and like architecture and all, like mad designs on everything. How cool is this shop? It's in design district as well, top like top. We have literally every shoe you can think of. So we are in the hotel room. We decided to get takeaway. So well done. I got food down the bar, and I got sushi. I got uni, which is sea urchin. But the sushi here is so nice. This like sushi place called Pug Belly Sushi, and it's just amazing. So I'm just out of the shower. I am gonna get ready now for lunch in the Versace, I don't know what you call it. I'll tell you something there because I actually can't remember if it's a palace or mansion or something like that. It, it could be neither, I'm just embarrassed myself, but I'll tell you something there. Um, I feel like I haven't really seen Miami yet. We flew in in the evening time, so we just went to dinner. We didn't see it and then, went straight to bed. We were actually wrecked because we got um, not much sleep time for because that was the night of the whole lizard's palaver kind of thing. Um, switching the hotels and stuff. And then our second day here, I was obviously sick in my stomach because I had too much cheese. Um, or any cheese at all and fine lately is just not good. So I need to stop eating that. I never learn because I love it so much. But anyway, um, went to Nikki Beach. Then I was feeling sick, went and got sushi and just sat in the bed and ate it. Then yesterday obviously was the Bahamas and we were so tired after. We just got takeaway again. So I got sushi again Um, sat in. And then this morning we got breakfast. Um, Then Dana went shopping. He's there now. He's on his way back just while I got a shower and stuff because I was take longer to get ready. I have to wash my hair and stuff and dry it. And then we're going to go for lunch. And then later we're going to Nobu as well. So I actually need to get my jumpsuit ironed because it's literally a crinkly mess not that you can even see what it is but it's so crinkly so i need to get that ironed um and then no it was later so i think we might walk down to the Versace lunch because uh, we haven't really seen much of miami to be honest because obviously that night i was so sick with my stomach we didn't get to wear on night hour and like that we had the bahamas the next day like at like 5 a.m we were up or like before that, i think half four i was up Tomorrow's our last day here and i feel like i just feel like we've done nothing even though we have because obviously Bahamas took up like a whole day. The first day was only the evening time and then the only full day we had I was sick for. So it's really nice weather here by the way. And it's like December. 
obviously. Um, so if you're thinking about coming, this is like a perfect time to come. It's like, let me see what exactly degrees it is. So right now it is 26 degrees. Just like a really nice temperature. It's like ideal. I'm gonna get ready now. I don't know what to wear actually. I don't know, let you just, I was gonna say let you help me, but you just can't even reply right now. So I have these trousers from Tiger Mist. Kind of like cargo trousers and I was gonna wear them with a hat on the top but I have the matching skirt of the outfit as well so what do I do I really wish you could reply right now <laughs> it's just can't because it's gonna be in the future but I don't know what's more of a lunch vibe I think the skirt I feel like the trousers is a bit more too casual unless I wore it with like a really dressy top but that's not really dressy so I'm thinking that as a trio I wish I was messing when I said we're locked up this winter at all. No. Even though there's a full on. And it does a bit when you're inside. Yeah. A little bit more. Right, text outside. How did you know? Uh, text me. No, I'm just in bed right now. I had my breakfast and I had a green juice as well. I'm drinking it now. I feel really rough. Um, my stomach's just been a bit the last few days. I did eat cheese and usually that does send my stomach west. But not this bad i think it's just all like the meals out because obviously you're eating out every meal you're having you're not making anything at home i think it's just all getting to me and um getting to my little stomach my stomach's like so sensitive to anything so i think that's what it is we have a place called kimono booked for dinner for half a so that was a recommendation um from someone so we're gonna go there tomorrow we go to orlando which is really exciting so we're getting the bus at i think four o'clock so we should get to orlando for like eight um but yeah i'm really excited i'm going to pack up other things that's the only thing i hate about moving places but yeah we're just going to chill for the day walk around there's not like much there's not like loads to do in miami there's nothing like that people kind of say oh you have to do this you know it's not like a place where there's like a big something miami's known for it's kind of like just oh my green juice just spilled um yeah it's kind of just a place known for having a beach i mean sunny it's more just like a sun holiday it's kind of like another version of mexico if that makes sense um but just just kind of like a beachy town basically but yeah we're gonna look around today have a little wander and then go for dinner tonight so hopefully my stomach by then is back to normal so we're just on the way to uh Finnegan's. it's like an irish pub Ever to happen. I was in McDonald's and um, I just went up to get a few bits for myself while I was watching the matches. It's in McDonald's sitting there, a lady comes up to me and she's like, Hey, do you mind getting me something to eat? I was like, Yeah, of course. So I went up with her to like a little machine where you put in your order, like, you know, not to a person, it's like the machine, you know what I mean. I went up with her and she was like, Yeah, I want this, this is my different brand. Um, picked them for her, bought them for her. And then the, the number came up of like your order number for what you collect. And it was like 9.20. I was like, oh, it's 9.20. She goes, okay, 9.20, fine. And then just turns around, not even a thanks. Not even like one smile, like nothing. Not that you do nice things for your thanks, but it was very strange. <laughs> Guys, this is like the best urban outfitters I've ever been in. Look how big it is. There's a hole downstairs as well, like it's fucking huge. So we're in Komodo, which is a fab like Asian restaurant in Miami, obviously. So I got the salmon tacos. Everything here has truffle on it. 
heel lof zou worden. Hij maakt zo goed verhaal. I literally had no time to show you my outfit before I left because I was in such a rush. What is new? But my dress is Zara right now. It should be tight around my neck, but it's all loose because I'm about to take it off. Um, gloves are pretty little thing. Heels are my ASOS platforms. We're gonna go over to get cereal in this place here. So he's gonna get in. How cool is this? So you get two cereals, one mix in, and your choice of milk as well. I'm gonna get go. cocoa puffs and Maurice puffs. If you're coming here, you have to go to the Italian trattoria, it's called. We have these Nutella cannolis. So I don't really don't like cannolis because they're like hard in the insides. But these are literally filled with Nutella, and they're the nicest things ever. You can get like pizza and pasta here as well. We actually should have got food here. The place was nice, but it would have been nice in here, I feel. So, 